So now that you know about your community partner and what they're trying to accomplish, the next thing to understand is the stakeholders of your project beyond the community partner. So we're going to go through and do a stakeholder analysis. And this is a very simple process, just to think through all of the people who might be affected by your project. And we call these stakeholders. So think through who would be affected by your project other than the immediate customer. So going to our project here with GDAT, obviously the patient and the technician will be affected, but who else might be affected down the line? Perhaps people who have to transport the table in and out of a place? Maybe it would be the patient's family. So think about all of those extended pieces. Where is this going to be stored? Who's going to manu manufacture it? When working on commercial projects or consumer products, a lot of times you'll think about the retailer, the manufacturer, um, shipping, things like that, where you're looking at all of the factors other than the ones that are obvious in front of you. So think about who has a vital interest in your project's success. So the Creehouse team went through and looked at this, and for the electrocardiogram table, they listed five stakeholders. The patients, and the technicians, those are two are obvious. Creehouse, where they'll actually store and use this, and this will affect them on their reputation in the community, things like that, beyond the scope of just giving the exam. The patient's loved ones, people who they care about, and other clinics where the exams take place. So how does this project affect places where the technicians go to do the exams? This is a good short list and will help you to get on your way. So to recap, it's important to consider everyone who's affected by your project, especially because these stakeholders that you think about now are going to affect the user needs that you write later, and those user needs will affect your specifications, the outcome of your project and how you design it, and then into how you go about testing the project. So all of these things cascade. So it's important, even though this seems very simple now, to go through and do this at this point. Different stakeholders are going to have different requirements, and that's going to have a lot of effect as you go along. Um, and listing stakeholders are going to help you. Listing stakeholders early is going to help you later on in the project. So again, it's your turn. So your homework for this piece of this module is going to be to simply create a list of stakeholders for your project. So take a minute now and write those down. And then go back to your team's design document and compare your list to the list in the design documentation. If your list has things that weren't included, update the list. If the list had things that you hadn't considered, take note of that so that you can do a better job in the future.